friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Mimi and this is budget with me and on today's video we are actually going to be cash stuffing my Etsy income for the month of August so this is what I have left over from this month I did pull a couple of times um to pay like a couple bills uh during the month of august my mind just went totally blank it's so late guys i think it's like after midnight so yeah so anyways uh this is what is remaining so it's 320 dollars um i want to thank everybody who is supporting my etsy shop guys i actually think that i'm gonna release the etsy items that i've already created that kind of piggyback off of items that i already have versus waiting for one big launch um because i think that you guys are like those items but i'm gonna do all of that in its own video because i like to keep my cash stuffings and my releases separate from one another so that'll be a totally separate video that i'm gonna record and because i decided to do it that way because it's taking me a little longer to complete items that i really want to release because i'm just so picky with how i want things to look so yeah i'm gonna just go ahead and release the ones that i already have and um everything else will what am i trying to say everything else will get released later on down the line it's just i'm just super busy guys i have a lot that i'm trying to work on like i work on a couple products stop working work on them stop working it just depends but anyways let's get into the cash stuffing so we have 20 40 60 81 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 92 10 15 25 35 45 55 65 75 85 95 96 7 8 9 300 and 301 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 and 20 and i did just go ahead and pull out um it actually was 322 dollars i left the two dollars in my account because i went to the atm and my atm only gives hundreds twenties and fives so i pulled out a bunch of twenties and i made change with what i had in my envelopes already so let's jump right into this so we are going to start in the kiddos binder because there aren't a lot of um envelopes that we're going to stuff in here so you guys know I always put $10 in my kiddo savings envelope regardless of whatever else I have going on. They get their $10. So we have 3,800, 850, 870, 890, 910, 930, 940, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. Yes, that's correct. So 3,949 for their savings. And that's all we have in there. Moving along into my binder. So this is a binder that you guys don't see that often. Um, it's not one of my regulars. They're my cash stuffings. Um, and we are going to jump to Roth. Roth is getting $10. I wanted to put more in here, but $10 is fine. So it has 910 And then my savings is getting 10% of my income. So that'll be $32. One and 32 I'm just double checking my planner all to the side that that's correct. Okay, so my savings will now have, this is an Ohio savings account. It's with a different bank than my regular bank, which is why I pull the cash. And then um, once I do my bill exchange, you'll see this cash go away and turn into prop bills. But we have 500, 550, 575, 85, 90, 91, and 92. And this savings is just based on etsy and youtube throughout the year so i know it's not like the biggest savings from that but it's the best i got <laughs> and i am grateful for whatever like I i'm totally grateful i can't really see my phone to see if i'm still like in frame i think i am though okay on to sinking funds so birthdays no am i stuffing anything in here no i'm not I'm not stuffing anything in this binder. I already fully funded debt, so I'm going to let that be what it is. 
Now my business binder, this is the binder that you guys usually only see once a month. Um, since I have not been getting a consistent YouTube paycheck anymore, um, I don't get to stuff this as much as I would like. Hopefully that will change in the future. Um, I'm not really sure, you know, why, but it is what it is. Um, Bills is getting five, so we have 20, 35, and this is just to cover um, any bills that I have. Let's say like I have, a, let's say like right now, technically I have my Etsy income to pull out once a month, but I pull it early before the month is over to cash stuff it for that month. So because I pulled it early and I have orders that have to ship out technically in the month of September. Um, September 3rd is my cash out date, which means that all that shipping cost is gonna get billed to me, which means that this amount will cover that. This amount will cover my HP Inc., my Canva subscription, and my Cricut subscription. And then, you know, if I just fall short one month on my business bills, that'll cover that. But I know for sure it's probably gonna have to cover the shipping costs for the few orders that I still have left. Okay, so giveaways, I'm putting in $4. I just wanted to even this up. I was trying to do another giveaway at $5,000, um, but I may just do one before that. We'll see. But we have 100, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll see what I hit, and then, you know, it'll determine. But I really would like to get to 5,000 subscribers and do another giveaway why are all of my envelopes like they have something on it i feel like my kids were in here <laughs> it's like something is on every single one of them my p.o box envelope gets 16 dollars a month i do have a six month um p.o box subscription is that the right word i guess subscription um and to pay it in full in six months i need to put 16 dollars in here a month I may need to recalculate this, but I think it's 16. So we have 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 64. And it's due in December, I believe. Supplies is going to get 50. 20, 40, and 50. So now it has 100, 120, 140, and 150. My support small envelope is getting $21, so 21 so we have 20, 40, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60, and I'll be placing some orders through Etsy and um, Kofi um, in the month of September. And then... Taxes. Taxes is getting $48 at just enough 20s. Great. Wait, is that right? 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48. So now taxes has, um, and taxes gets 15% of my income. So we have 700, 750, 770, 790, 795 800 1 2 3 4 5 6 806 dollars i know most people do um 30 percent. i only do 15 percent because i haven't had to pay back any taxes so that gives me like an extra refund but just in case something pops up you know i have that money saved to the side i don't make that much throughout etsy and youtube throughout the year so i figure 15 percent is perfectly fine for me um, especially with the deductions that I have. So, what are we doing next? Oh, we're going to play my games. <laughs> so, I did go ahead and put $124 of this towards savings challenges. So, I think it was $196 went towards all of my Sanky funds and business binder. And then the rest, I was like, it's going to go towards games. So, we are going to play my games. <laughs> Now, I was debating between finishing off Christmas and the this or that challenge and just being done with them or rolling and hopefully I get them and then, you know, that'll be that. So we'll see what happens. If I dwindle down to too much and I know that I want to finish those and I haven't hit them, 
I am going to go finish them <laughs> because I really want to finish them so that I can um, move on to the next challenge in this or that for the month of September. And I also just want to finish Christmas because I'll just feel so much better to start actually like looking at Christmas things if my envelope is fully funded, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy started. Number three, that is not Christmas. <laughs> Number three is my Pop It Like It's Hot Challenge, which is in my savings challenge book that I created for the year of 2024. Um, I am in the works of working on one for 2025, so hopefully I can finish that pretty soon so it can go up for at least, like, I want to put it up in, like, November so that everybody can get, like, their 2025 stuff, like, during Black Friday sales, Cyber Monday sales, because I'm most likely going to do those. So each one of my balloons is worth $15. And part of me wants to keep track of this. Okay. Yeah, I want to keep track of how much I'm doing just in case. So, I guess we can chit chat while I'm doing this, guys. This or that. So, your girl got her scores back for my final exams. Oh, I have a whole $8 IOU. I forgot about that. <laughs> Let me take care of that real quick. So five, six, seven, eight. So I got my scores back and I am so proud of myself. Like when I tell y'all I'm so proud of myself, first of all, on the exam three for my anatomy and physiology class, your girl had the highest grade. <laughs> um, Actually, I might pull them up and show y'all. Okay, I just remember that I'm actually filming on my main phone, so I actually can't show you guys anything because I don't have like that thing logged in on my other phone that I got finally I finally got fixed. Um I don't have that system logged in on it, so I'm not gonna be able to what is this? What is all of this stuff? There's like I don't know what's happening. Anyways, um but on my I don't know if you guys can see, but I, I can't, I can't, <laughs> but on my exam three, I had a 90.67 out of a hundred. Now, originally, I think I had like an 85.67 out of a hundred, but there were two questions on our, um, there was one question on our exam that was a select all and it only let you select one option. So basically we got points back for that. And it was another question that he said the wrong answer was selected as the correct answer. So we got points back for that. So my grade went up to that for a 90.67. I had the highest grade. And then for our comprehensive exam, guys, when I walked out of that exam, I was like, I failed it. That was it. That's it. <laughs> like, I hope he just cursed it so much because I failed it. I knew it in my spirit that I failed it. But it did get curved. So I don't really know <laughs> how bad I failed it. Or if I just, I just guessed correctly on, I, I pretty much guessed the most of the tests. It was like 40 something questions. I want to say I guessed like 30 of them. <laughs> my brain was fried. We had just took exam three before that. And my brain was just like in shut off mode. So, but I did make a 66.2 out of 70, which is a, what is that? A 90 something, 80 something, something like that. Um, on my uh comprehensive and that is with the curve so like i said guys i don't know what my original score was but it did get curved and then then we had our lab practicum which was basically our lab final and i made a 75 out of 90 on that like i was a little bummed about my 75 but i didn't really have to pass that test as much to pass that portion of the class all i needed was a 20 percent on the exam like I literally could have bombed it and still passed the class but I wasn't going to do that but overall I wound up getting a 94.77 in the entire class which is an A at my university so I am super excited about that I'm waiting for my teacher to grade my um I do have a prereq my history class I'm waiting for him to grade all of those assignments and we'll know for sure what my grade is in that and I'll let you guys know 
So moving on, moving on from here, we're gonna do the 63. And if you guys are new to my channel, I do not, I'm not stuffing $63, that's not happening. <laughs> so I'm gonna stuff $9. So instead I'm gonna put back a one and take a two. But yeah, guys, I'm just, I am so happy to just be done with this class. And I'm just so proud of myself to maintain my age. Like, I am honestly proud of myself. Number nine. Number nine is Savings Land. Um, I was really bummed out when I took Anatomy 2. And I had a B plus and I was like, ugh. So I was determined. So one, two. We're going to go back to the start because you guys know I'm going to do this whole board. So that was one, two, three, four, five, and six. Ooh, six dollars. And we're going to do a different color. Let's do blue. This blue is deep, so it'll be fine. I am going to try to complete this entire board before I call this challenge complete. So blue. Oh, and that was six dollars. Sorry, guys. Six dollars. I know that game board is small and it would just be a lot to keep zooming in and out for you guys to actually see the numbers because they are pretty tiny. Okay, we're doing Christmas and Christmas is in my savings challenge book. And let's jump over to it. So each one of my candy canes are worth $10. That is not the original cost of the candy canes on the challenge. It was $25. But the thing about challenges are you can literally make these challenges any amounts that you want. Like you do not have to follow the set amounts. Like I don't follow the set amounts on this or that just because those are too large for my budget. Um, But you know, you can do what you want. So this challenge is aimed to save um 1750 but i changed mine to save 700 so let's go ahead and pop in ten dollars in christmas number eight number eight is spa day i don't know if i Ugh, we'll see because i really want to complete both of those okay oh sorry guys so sorry so sorry let's do let's start just clearing out this side and we'll work our way out so let's put that there that's a three i forgot where i got this sticker from it came in one of my orders and i popped it on here but i can't remember where it came from i don't know if it came in one of my orders or it came from because magnolia grace 88 on etsy sent me some products and i don't remember if it came in that one it could have possibly come in there okay so the next one is number four and that's the b-day challenge so let's go ahead and jump over to that challenge which is swept the back and i did start this challenge like at the beginning of the year and i back burnered it and now i just decided that we're just gonna go ahead and complete it so each one of these birthday cakes i designated them to be ten dollars so let's get this colored in okay i don't need that outside anymore And I need yellow, which once again, I'm using the wrong yellow. <laughs> My little candles and the little part down here are going to be so different on each cake. Okay, that was $10. Did I do? No, I did not. Happy birthday, 10. What is that, 9 Nine is savings land again. I guess we can go ahead and play that one. The denominations are pretty small on this one. Um, the highest number is six, so we can do that. Two. So we go one, two, and the next number is a two. I'm still debating in my mind if I wanna just complete this or that. Like, 
I'm still debating. I'm literally thinking about it. <laughs> this or that is number six, so I might cheat. I might cheat. Oops. Number one, Christmas. Okay, okay, okay. I did say that I want to finish this or that or Christmas. I really, truly, really, really, really do. Like, not even going to lie. And I know, guys, like, I honestly could just go ahead and complete the challenges because, you know, they are my challenges. But I do like this new randomizer way that I am playing things. But, you know, I might cheat. <laughs> I might cheat. So Christmas is getting another $10. And another thing, my Christmas money is in a high yield savings account. So it's it's gaining interest as it sits there. So that's another good thing. Savings land again. Hmm. Let's see. Three. So one, two, and three. Oh, we landed on a candy cane. Move back two spaces. So one and two move ahead to okay we're not doing that <laughs> so we're gonna roll again five one two three four five that's only one dollar that's not fine that's i said that's not fine i'm actually gonna go ahead and mark these two off because i don't want to do them again <laughs> i truly don't because it was like move back and then move ahead like <gasps> no guys i did that wrong that's not what that's okay i did that so wrong so when I hit this one for the move back two spaces, that one is actually the little jolly jelly beans. Why was I about to say jolly ranchers? But I looked at whatever these are. So that actually says to say ten dollars. Guys, I think I'm about to cheat. If I don't roll in on next row, I think I think I'm gonna be cheating. I want to say that's what we're about to do here. <laughs> So savings land. Let's see what we get. Oh, I left the little alcohol pack. Let's see what we get. Ten. Yeah, no, I don't want to start that one. Um, let's finish this or that. I just want to finish it. I want to finish it. I want to finish it. I want to finish the challenges that I want to finish. So that'll be seventy dollars. It's actually seventy. So I am just gonna do seven dollars. I am not stuffing seven seventy dollars. That's never gonna happen. <laughs> and we'll call that one complete. And then five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Yeah. <laughs> Leave me with four dollars. I'm gonna complete Christmas. Yep, I sure am. I sure am gonna complete Christmas because I just want to. I'm so close to completing it that I just want to get it over. <laughs> and then I can work on another challenge in my book because I do want to complete my entire book for 2024 and see exactly how much I saved in this whole book. Um, Which will be amazing to do. So yeah, guys, I know this is not my norm. This is not my norm. I normally don't cheat like this, but I am going to today. And whatever we roll, well, actually, you know what? Let's keep that zero and start that challenge for this. We'll have an IOU in that one if we get it. But I'm going to put 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 into Christmas because that was originally my plan anyways was to complete those challenges with this money. And we're going to start my number 10. And this is a new challenge. And this is, it's a boba mystery. I got this from Snow Gardener 307. The numbers are anywhere between $2 and $10 on this side. And then on this side, this one says $55. So do I want to do the scratcher side or the thirst quencher side? I got $4. I'm a daredevil. Come on, let's go. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> Five dollars, guys. It's okay. <laughs> it's 
So one, two, three, four is what we have. So I have a dollar IOU. I am not gonna go find a dollar. We're just gonna keep the dollar IOU. Um, let me grab an IOU card. My those darn scratches. <laughs> And we're just going to put one dollar. All right. I feel better about what I did. Okay, so my Love Always Coffee Challenge did not get anything. And that is perfectly fine with me. Um, let me move these to the side. The Spa Day Challenge, it did get $3. So I do just like to notate in my planner who got what. I keep track of all of that. So it now has 20, 40, 65, 75, 76, and 78. And this challenge um, is from Mystic Budgets and it totals $112 when completed. All right, savings land. I believe this is from Purple Glimmer Budgets. I think that's who this is from. So we have 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars went into savings land. Whoa. I just like threw my pen. What I say? Five, six, 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 six. And it now has 20, 40, 65, 75, 81, 2, 3, 4, 5, 85. And I don't know how much the whole board adds up to. Um, I don't know if it ever said it on the listing. The It's a Boba Mystery got $4, and we have a dollar IOU in there. So we'll start that off with a dollar IOU for the month of September. Let's go ahead and do this or that. Did I do the other side of this card? No, I did not. Okay, so I'm going to need to make a... Whatchamacallit for this? Okay, so we have... For this or that, today we added 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we added 24, and let's see how much this totaled up to. So all together for the That Bingo Challenge, and this challenge is from Salisa over at Beautifully Me and You. We got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 50, 65, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 274. That is not bad to say that I played it regular and low income at the same time. And we're going to go ahead and do another scratcher. Yeah, we're going to do another scratcher probably next time. So we're going to put this off to the side. And next up is my binder, which I am so excited about. So Christmas got 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 50. That is what it needed to be completed. So this should be $700. So we have 500, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 50, 65, 75, 85, 95, $700. And my Christmas challenge is now complete. It is fully funded. I haven't talked to their dad to see what he's doing about Christmas, but yeah. <laughs> um, why am I pulling this out? This didn't get anything. This was a ten dollar challenge. Pop it like it's hot got fifteen dollars. So it now has 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80, 95. Oh, that's so annoying. Dang. <laughs> that's okay. $195. And then the happy birthday challenge got 10, so it has 30. And then my May challenge did not get through this time. And that's okay, because I was working with a smaller Etsy budget. Um, so yeah. So let's do, where is it? Found it. So I do like to keep track of the challenges that I complete. Um, this is something that I like to do now. So that is Christmas, and that was 700 And then we have that bingo. And I forgot how much that was. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. So, two, 
40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 274. And then we're going to go ahead and paper clip these together. Let me grab my paper clips. I apologize about my chair, guys. There we go. And let's go ahead and paper clip Christmas as well. There we go. And we are going to pop these into my A5, which has been housing all of my completed challenges. I'm just going to try to stuff this in here. Okay. There's that. <laughs> you can't really tell because they're all bunched up together, but she thick. She real thick. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is the end of my Etsy income video. I appreciate each and every one of you for sticking it out with me. And I will actually, oh, wait, whoa, girl, what are you, you're forgetting. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, friends.